Hi everybody, in this video we are going to see how it is used the interruption function on the Arduino platform. Also, this statement will help us to measure the time span between ticks of the encoder. Then we are close to find the speed of the wheels, who are the requirements for the control of our project. Then let's get to see that. In this video, we are going to see the code that I made uh, for use the function, uh, the interruption function of the pins of our Arduino. In this case, we are going to use the pin 2 and pin 3 of our Arduino Mega. There are different pins that are used uh, for different platforms, but in this platform, we are going to use the pin 2 and 3. In this uh, schematic, you could see what are those pins in different boards. Okay, the program is too simple. Uh, the, the first one is define encoder R like a variable, like an integer variable that is equal to 3. That is the pin that, I go, that we are going to use. In, in the voice tab, we have to define an interruption that is uh, called attach interrupt. That function makes that we could use a pin of our Arduino. And uh, the, the first part of, the, uh, of this function is digital pin to interrupt. And you define right here the, the pin that we're going to use, that is encoder R, that is pin 3. The other one uh, thing that, that the function has is the definition of the name of the function. When an interruption uh, works, it calls a function. In this case, I am going to call the R encoder. And the activation of the of this function is the the third signal that you could see in this inter, in this attach interrupt that is falling. That falling uh, makes when you have a a, a change that goes goes to high too low that is a falling that fo there, there is different uh, function that you could use you could watch it in arduino page and um, in that falling is when you are high and you change to a state low that is a falling uh, state then uh, there is the way to use attach interrupt that is so simple in the other part we are going to initialize the serial begin uh, in 9600 uh, the velocity of communication that is the, the initial initialization of the serial begin those are very important because that help us to make a, something like the book of our program in the other part the boil loop it don't have a, anything is it's only we don't use a, any line of code right there but the program is still running in the boil loop and we create the R encoder that is the function that is called when the interruption works then uh, in that function there are a serial print a serial print hola in this case when the uh, interruption works the, the interruption makes that the Arduino send a communication, a serial communication with that, with this message. And that's it. Remember that, that we have the boil loop is working. In the boil loop, our Arduino is still running. In every sample of time, our Arduino is running in the boil loop. But when I appear I interrupt in the in the wheel, then it happens to use or to execute uh, our function R encoder. In this case, you could see that I am going to to touch in the the wheel. I don't move in in, in this. 
I don't uh, execute the interruption yet, but if I move the, 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 the wheel, then the interruption begins to work. In this case, we are going that our Arduino is, is working in the boil loop, is still running in this boil loop. When I run, when I turn the wheel, you could see the interruption force function will work currently. You could see that the machine all uh, appear in the serial communication. That's why the encoder the encoder works. Then uh, you the Arduino is working in the boil loop when it happens an interruption in the pin three then appear that message this message is the interruption and is working good that was that we expect uh, to happen right here okay in this part of the video we are going to change to try to prove the another encoder in this part we are going to change uh, this line to encoder l uh, this encoder L is in pin 2 and we are going to prove that thing and then we change the encoder the the function there is no R encoders uh, in this case is L encoder that is the left encoder the left wheel that we are going to use those programs are in description of the the video if you wanna to to see this more more closely then you could see then right now is program our Arduino then if I move the right wheel it doesn't have uh, happen anything in our communication because I don't have defined uh, that thing but if I move the left wheel you could see that the interruption function works uh, like we expect and that's it that that was so easy and that we expect that happens okay we now uh, we know right now how to use an uh, interruption function and uh, we have to think in uh, taking count that those interruption function are important because it could help us to measure the velocity of our wheels. Then we have right here uh, a wheel, an uh, encoder with only four holes. The idea behind this encoder is try to reduce our problem and understand it more easily. And the line, the horizontal line is the simulation time, is the time that is running in our Arduino. That a t equal to zero is when we turn on our Arduino. Is like the last video that we talk about the sample time. Is the same thing. Is something similar. Okay. Right now, you could think that uh, this will rotate. In that rotation, we have to take in count that those rotations are uh, are the the things that we want to measure. But how we could measure that? Okay, it's easily. The first thing that we have to think is we are going to create a variable that is called nuestra interrupción anterior. That variable is a time stamp is the time stamp uh, when the arduino begins when the arduino begins we initialize this variable this is a variable that helps us to measure what are the times uh, between between movements of the ticks of our encoder okay that uh, muestra interrupción anterior is equal to uh, a time stamp but we wanna know those time stamp is when occurs the tick one. We could say that. We could say it like this. And that is our muestra interruption anterior. But there are another time. Uh, there is a time that is moving 
through uh, through the program. In every sample of time, the uh, the time is is going to actualize in every in every moment. That is muestreo interrupción actual. That variables is the variable that we are going to use to actualize to actualize our our time and that that nuestra interrupción actual it's going to actualize it in in every cycle of the in every loop that is operate for our Arduino then when the loop begins the Arduino going to actualize that variable then nuestra interrupción actual is going to change a lot of in our program because the that is this variable nuestra interrupción actual is going to actualize it in every sample of time when the loops begins in our Arduino the nuestra interrupción actual is equal to the timestamp that the Arduino has in this moment and and that's it, that is very, is very easy. Then, the muestreo interrupción actual is going to be actualizing when the wheels is rotate between, between tick and tick. Between those, between those ticks, uh, that variable is uh, still actualizing. When it goes, when the encoders goes to the other things when the other thing ha things happens in that moment the program makes a difference the difference between the muestreo interrupción actual and muestreo interrupción anterior and that difference that, that time is called delta muestreo interrupción that is the name of this variable and that that variable is the is the difference be, between the other two that is the time the actual time the 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 actual time and the last time that the muestreo interrupción anterior those times those times makes that we could have in this moment a real time of a real time of interruptions a real time between interruptions that make us that we know that that this time that is a first part to know what is the real the, the real velocity of our will let's try to implement that those code in our Arduino program in this time we create the three variables that we watch in the board uh, that there is the muestreo interrupción actual, muestreo interrupción anterior y muestre, delta muestreo interrupción that uh, those variables are defined like volatile uh, like volatile and unsigned uh, those variables are very known for us in the other part, we declare uh, the encoder R. That is the connection, the pin that we are going to connect the the pin three of our Arduino. Uh, the attach the interrupt. That is the pin that we are going to use. The name of the function and the activation function that is falling. That falling is because we are going to measure when the pins change. Uh, of a state height in a state low that is falling and we going to use the serial begin equal to 9600 uh, values the first thing that we have to see in this program is the boil loop Look at this boil loop has the muestreo actual interruption is equal to millis. Remember that our program is running in the boil loop. And in this boil loop, we are going to print what is delta muestreo interruption. That is the time between tick and tick. Then remember, 
in every sample of time is actualizing that variable that is the actual uh, actual interruption those these are the variable uh, more important because it have is is taking the time in every sample of time and we are going to print delta inter uh, delta muestra interruption that is the variable that we want to know because are the time between ticks but right now the, our encoder is a function that function have two important uh, lines the first one is the difference between the muestreo interrupción actual menos el muestreo interrupción anterior that that uh, the minus of of these variables generates the delta muestreo interrupción and it is important that in the in that interruption function when the interruption function works we we are going to actualize the delta uh, the muestreo anterior interrupción is actualizing with the actual interruption the uh, uh, muestreo actual de interrupción it's important to actualize the last uh, sample with the actual sample because the the time is still is still running and the program uh, don't going to stop those are very important very important because the times goes to have to be have to be fixed and that's it that is very simple it's a program too simple then we'll try to program our arduino and you could see that we could see that is printing right now zero because our there is no move any wheels uh, still there is no move and it will jet but if I move if I move right now our wheel you could see that the time when the interruption function works right right now we have 23,000 you could see if we turn the wheel uh, faster the time stamp uh, will goes uh, goes to be as smaller than the in in other time because because it depends if the time between tick and tick then it could be a go that variable could be higher and or smaller it depends if the if you move the the wheels faster and slower that that is the program that was that we expect uh, to do and that's it.